I'm standing with John Farley uh, with Bring Hope Home. Uh, your organization has looked at all the challenges. There's a lot of organizations where you can donate money for cancer mm -hmm. treatment. Uh, your organization has looked at that and found an area for cancer patients that is missing. We were founded in okay. 2008. Uh, our founder and CEO, Paul Eisenberg, um, his wife, unfortunately, she was pregnant with their second child and she was, wasn't getting weight. They really weren't sure what was going on. And uh, through um, some testing, they found out that she uh, did have cancer. And so after the birth of their second child, she went through a, a six year battle um, until she ultimately lost her life um, trying to get better from, from cancer. And, and during that time, uh, when Paul and Nicole were going through treatment, they spent uh, an awful lot of time in, in waiting rooms, cancer treatment facilities, hospitals, and they met people that were battling cancer but unfortunately um, didn't have the financial support or the community support or the family support um, to be able to choose between treatment, uh, paying their mortgage, paying their utilities, putting food on the table. Uh, people were losing incomes from uh, not being able to make it to work, uh, either a caregiver not being able to make it to work, um, having trouble finding transportation to and from treatment. So um, they, they realized right then and there how blessed they were by being in you know a strong community of neighbors, church, their schools. Everybody was really coming out and supporting them and they realized there's, there's families that are struggling that can't get by. And so right there and then they kind of have an epiphany that they needed to give back and do something for the community. And all of our money stays right here in the greater Philadelphia area, South Jersey and the whole state of Delaware. And it goes directly to pay families that are battling cancer pay essential household bills. Uh, so it is rent, mortgage, utilities, uh, could be electric, uh, water, um, gas. We've also helped families pay for transportation to and from treatment car payments, cell phone bills, whatever they need to stay in their home um, with their lights on and food on the table. We had an opportunity to go out to an amazing event, a, a mud run in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. It's an annual event. Yeah, so all of our, our events are actually um, right here in the community and all that money that comes in, we get you know zero money from the government, zero money from the state, and we get zero money from um, any of our families that we help. So everything that goes out to our families is raised um, right here in the community through some of our signature events as well as some third party events. And I think that's really the remarkable piece is what you're saying is that community atmosphere is um, somebody that, you know, our ideal donor and the person that comes to us is usually somebody who has been impacted by cancer and has felt you know, that struggle and knows what's going on. And, and they, they say, you know, I'm doing okay right now financially, and I wanna help out somebody that's going through that that might not be doing so well. And, and so in our area, on average, you're paying $20,000 out of pocket, even if you have health insurance. And so with that, you see all these people that are struggling. And when you have all these great events, all these communities that are coming together to raise funds and awareness on behalf of these families, you see that community really come together and it's really neighbors helping neighbors. And that's, that's really what we're about is we wanna make sure that all that money stays right here and it goes right directly to help somebody who, who is in need. I'm a volunteer at Bring Hope Home and it's kind of a special honor for me to volunteer. I am a cancer survivor myself. Uh, lucky 13 years uh, surviving breast cancer and I remember when I was going through my cancer treatment I went through chemo and radiation and while I was in all the waiting rooms I noticed that there are a lot of other people who weren't as fortunate as I was I had the best health care possible uh, had the love and support of my family and my friends and um, I met a lot of people that really weren't as fortunate. And now I'm really lucky and I get to help other cancer families. I'm just very blessed to be part of such a special organization. To anyone that's struggling out there, you, you do not have to fight cancer alone. There's organizations, Bringing Hope Home is really just a, a caring organization, really making a difference in every community you service.